Welcome back to Newswatch. The Kittitas Valley Community Hospital is offering some free education sessions about diabetes for county residents. For more on this, we go to Newswatch reporter Bonnie Davidson. November is American Diabetes Month and Kittitas Valley Community Hospital is hosting two educational events for the community to attend. Around 6.5% of Kittitas County population has already been diagnosed with diabetes. Pamela Vick, the diabetes educator of Kittitas Valley Community Hospital, says that it's important that the public gets educated on diabetes because the more you're educated, the more you're able to prevent the disease as well as control it. The events begin at 5.30 at Kittitas Valley Community Hospital, upstairs in the conference room. The second event is immediately following at 7 p.m. at the Kittitas Valley Community Hospital Cafe. This is Bonnie Davidson reporting for Newswatch. The Kittitas County Health Department expects a significant, significant budget cut. Health Promotion Manager Robin Reed says the department operates at the bare minimum and cannot provide the public with basic health or emergency programs if more funds are cut. The Board of Health estimates a deficit over $180,000 and plans to use money from the health department bank account to cover it. Despite facing large budget cuts, the state's employment security department is continuing to offer Microsoft's complete set of e-learning training courses. Any working age resident of Washington is eligible to take these courses until October 2012. Microsoft's e-learning program is suitable for all skill levels, with the courses ranging from basic computing skills to training for IT professionals. For more information, visit GoToWorkSource.com and select free Microsoft e-learning. The number of international students has grown in the past few years on the Central Washington University campus by over 100 students. In 2009, there were just 422 international students, and the number jumped to 508 in 2010. This year, the number has risen again as CWU currently has 539 international students gracing its campus. The biggest increase in the foreign program came from CWU's English as a Second Language program. Director of ESL Steve Horowitz says that this year they have the highest number ever at 161 students. The number is close to doubled since 2009. Horowitz attributes this rise in attendees to the increase of Saudi Arabian students. Horowitz says that they enjoy Central Washington, thus the numbers are rising. Government scholarships and word of mouth from past students lead to more foreign students studying abroad at CWU. Numbers are expected to continue to rise in coming years. For Newswatch, I'm Travis Cleckley. That was Travis Cleckley reporting on the rise of international students on the Central Washington University campus. Washington State Attorney General Rob McKenna are launching a new national advertising campaign targeting young drivers and texting. The campaign will hit a variety of popular media outlets including TV, radio, and Facebook. The national survey has 75% of young drivers admitting to texting and driving. More statistics and tips are available at StopTextStopRex.com. Ellensburg High School juniors are now required to take Washington State history in combination with U.S. history. Newswatch reporter Janae Berklin has the story on what students are learning. Ellensburg High School social studies teacher Marco Bricci is busy incorporating the new standard. We've made a two-week block where we're covering what the state mandates and a little more because surprisingly the state really only mandates that we teach the Washington State Constitution which before we really didn't teach much of. We taught a lot of other stuff, geography, Native American um, history, um, some of the more modern um, issues that we have in the state and state government. Credit is given to students if they took Washington State history in middle school. High school principals may also assign credit for transfer students who previously took their state's history course before coming to Ellensburg. The state has several guidelines for the course. They only mandate the Constitution, and then they strongly encourage us to, to cover some of the Native American history and contemporary issues. So we're also, what the curriculum we've worked on covers both of those. Juniors at Ellensburg High School are learning to adjust to the new curriculum of having Washington State history in their U.S. history classes. Reporting for Newswatch, I'm Janae Berkland.
After the break, Hunna Dahl joins us from the Newswatch Weather Center with a look at your forecast. It appears that cold temperatures will stick around and Jack Frost may visit. We'll be back in 90 seconds. I'm